Okay, so here I'm back with uh, all the seven holes in there. So what I did is um, yeah, exactly what I explained um, in the in the end of the last video. So I punched in uh, three additional holes, and then I yeah de um, deleted uh, this half and uh, copied that over. But yeah, so if you are at the same uh, level here, um, let's go in and um, insert some edge loops here. Um, so when we smooth that guy out, um, yeah, we see some edge problems here. So let's fix that um, and uh, insert an edge loop um, here. And yeah, we want to insert one down here. And now let's uh, smooth that guy to see what's going on. Okay, obviously we have to insert one edge loop right here. Somewhere about there, and let's smooth that out. Okay. Yeah, that's uh, something I can live with. So now, um, yeah, after inserting some edge loops, so yeah, let's before we for time saving. So let's insert one here. That's that's it. All the other splits are on both sides. Okay, so now let's take that thing here and um, let's move its pivot here somewhere to the center. Hit D and uh, so go to hit W for the move tool and then hit D and V and middle mouse over one of this vertices here on the side and then hit control D and then scale the negative one in X and then let's uh, take both objects select both of them and again combine those and again um, select the vertices here in the center and merge alright so what we could do now is um, just for uh, sake of uh, visualization here. So select uh, our reference image and put it on a layer, and then hide that. Could have done that earlier. Okay, so yeah, we got uh, one piece down here. Um, it's looking all right. Now let's take care about some other pieces that we need. And um, yeah, let's take care about some pieces that come from this uh, wristband here to that piece and again this is not a, a real lock that I'm building here so yeah if somebody from the Rolex company is watching this okay so move um, a polygon cube down here let's go to the side view again check that out and let's bring it into a position somewhere about here let's rotate that guy to somewhere about here and then we scale that up okay and scale it this direction here give it some subdivisions right, first check out how the size is here in this direction, just scale that out and then uh, insert some subdivisions on the width uh, just uh, so I have two and then we delete again we delete one half of it or before we do that yeah just uh, delete half of it okay and now let's um, take those verts here and move those um, to the same level as uh, the wristband here. So let me turn on wireframe one shaded, turn that on. So move this in X here, the four words, and uh, V middle mouse over one of those vertices here. Okay, so we got that in place. What we want to do now is um, yeah, insert an edge loop here, one here, and then we take And then we take this face here, 
or let me think for a second so let's grab all those words um, down here and uh, yeah this time I'm modeling the lock in a different way than I did uh, when I modeled this uh, watch the first time it's actually some parts of it I yeah, used uh, yeah, different ways uh, when I modeled it the first time okay put it somewhere maybe just a little bit more down okay and then give it another split down here and what we might want to do now is select those faces here and let's extrude those out to somewhere about here okay and then we insert some edge loops in there so select this edge here and then control right click edge ring utilities and split and set it to multi and let's dial uh, up the uh, the divisions here to something like four and we do the same here on this part so select this edge control right click edge ring utilities and split and you could have also pressed g on your keyboard um, so set it to multi and give it four divisions okay so that piece selected let's rotate that back in uh, y um, to zero no in x to zero and now let's uh, take our bend deformer create deformer bend and then uh, yeah let's do the same process here create some curvature and then let's rotate that guy so that should work right now so give it 90 degrees and Y and then set Y to 0 yeah that's that's what I wanted so now um, yeah let's uh, dial down that curvature a little bit somewhere about here and now let's uh, select the object and delete the history and now let's bring it b back into place so rotate that and then uh, move it to somewhere about here okay so let's check that out from the perspective okay so so far so good um, yeah let's um, let me pause the video and we finish this part up and in the next video we are also going in and create some cylinders in between here and then we connect uh, the last cylinder here to this geometry and then we copy that over and then we only have to put in some kind of geometry inside here and then yeah we are almost done with the modeling process here so all right see you in the next video